Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add subscriptions on your Shopify store. We're going to be doing this today through the free Shopify subscriptions app. This is built and developed directly from Shopify themselves. Uh, so you know that you can trust it and it is available for free. So the price is free. Again, it's developed by Shopify and this is the Shopify subscriptions app. Of course, subscriptions can be a great way to uh, improve your overall all bottom line within your business and it might be just a great way uh, to increase your long-term customer values so without further ado before we dive into things of course I do want to mention again if you don't already have a Shopify store why are you watching this video now you can go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description that's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify that will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial again that's that first link down below in the video description without further ado let's go ahead and dive into Shopify subscriptions so again Shopify subscriptions is available on the Shopify app store uh, so what you're going to want to do is first of course make sure that you are logged into your Shopify store which I am here uh, you can either access this just by searching for uh, Shopify subscriptions here um, in the and search the app store uh, Shopify subscription so you can search there of course I cannot spell today uh, Shopify subscriptions and then you can add it here um, and that will open up this external page there so you can either search for it there or just directly in the Shopify app store now we're gonna go ahead and install the app on this test store for tutorials uh, so again subscriptions can be again a great way uh, to just add more ways for your customers to pay for things and subscribe to something on your Shopify store. Uh, so once it has loaded, again, this is just adding the app to your store. And as you can see, we now have the app here. Okay, and now that we have installed the Shopify subscriptions app, we're gonna go ahead and create our first subscription plan. Again, this will allow uh, you to create a subscription plan to allow customers to purchase products and services on a recurring basis with a single checkout experience. Uh, now, primarily this is focused around physical products. So as you can see, very similar to like what Amazon has uh, available is so you can see subscribe and save. So instead of paying you know more for the one-time purchase, you can have those deliveries set up you know every week and they can save a given percentage or maybe every month uh, we're gonna go through like how to go about setting that up and creating the subscription plan uh, you can also offer the subscription based discounts view and manage the subscription orders uh, as well as you know as you can see here the upcoming subscription payments that customers uh, can go ahead and manage as well so now that we have uh, installed the app we're gonna go to create a plan uh, so we're going to go to plans and create a new plan, uh, as you can see here. So I would recommend doing it from the left hand sidebar here under subscriptions. Uh, you might want to also pin this app to probably uh, just so that it's easy to access from your app menu. Um, so we have plans, plan title and the products available. So we're going to go ahead and do this on the beanie. Uh, that I have on the store again you can do this really on any product it just depends on you know how your store set up if you're selling physical products if you're selling digital products um, that is uh, something to keep in mind in terms of how you're building this out um, it really is pretty flexible as far as how you want it to look uh, so we're gonna leave this as subscribe and save we're gonna do this as like a beanie uh, delivery so maybe someone just burns through beanies constantly uh and they need one like every single month i don't know that'd be kind of crazy but uh or maybe they, <laughs> maybe you could set it up so you can order one once a year uh so yeah, i guess you have that option there too on the delivery intervals uh which is kind of funny uh, once a year i mean really that's kind of crazy someone would totally forget about their yearly subscription uh but that is something you could do uh is if you want to offer maybe a yearly discount on something you can do that too and like an annual plan uh, or something like that you have the percentage off so you can you know give people the certain percentage off, maybe 10% off uh, you can give a set dollar amount off as well as a flat rate discount uh, so you, you can set that up however you want you can have multiple options too so maybe if the delivery frequency is once a week uh, maybe you give them an even higher discount um, so that, you know, they're more incentivized to purchase so frequently, or, you know, you set up that once a year or, uh, once a month, that's sort of similar to what you see in a lot of subscription, like software as a service type products is, you know, that monthly or annual plan type of thing. 
Uh, so subscribe and save beanie delivery. Um, and so we have that there. So we're going to go ahead and click save. Uh, so now we have our subscription plan created. All right, so once we have the plan created, we're just gonna go ahead and click the save button there. So now we have that subscription plan saved. Uh, so as you can see here under your different subscription plans, you can manage however many that you want to have here. Uh, you can you know sort by them as well and see the overall delivery frequencies. Uh, in terms of contracts, this is where you would manage like when a customer purchases a subscription from your store, the contract will appear here. Uh, so this is, you know, the current subscription contracts that you have available. Um, and this is good for just managing your business in general. So you can see how much recurring revenue you have, revenue you have, or maybe if you need to cancel something or something like that, maybe you have customer service line people, uh, you can go ahead and manage them here. Uh, as well. You also have additional settings here in terms of what else you might want to edit with your subscriptions. Uh, so, you know, in terms of how many retries on the billing attempts, um, cancel subscriptions, like if, you know, if the billing doesn't work, a payment fails or something like that, uh, you know, you can either pause the subscription and send a notification, you can have that canceled, or you can skip the subscription and send notifications. So you can go ahead and edit those there. Um, you can also you know, reinstall the subscriptions to th that they display on your store. Uh, you can also add the subscription management URL to your navigation. Um, this is highly recommended uh, so that people can easily go and manage their subscriptions so they don't necessarily have to do it just via the email. Uh, they can easily access it directly from your storefront. Uh, and so all you do is just copy that and add it to the navigation um, in your Shopify store. So we're going to go ahead and actually copy that here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add that here just so you see like what the page looks like. Um, so, you know, this will be the customer login page. Obviously, they need an actual account, uh, but that is the link that you would add and then it will allow your customers to log in. Now, next in the process, if you do already have an existing contract or things set up in your business, you can import that data uh, via CSV file as well. You just go to here and you can import that data under the contracts uh, section. Uh, so you can go here and import the CSV file. You, they also do have a sample data uh, if you're going to be importing subscription information uh, from a prior setup. Uh, so once you've done that, it, maybe you, you do have that or you don't have it. Uh, next to display the subscriptions, you're going to need to add the subscription widget to your product page. Uh, to modify the styling and content to match your store's theme, uh, the subscription widget will only show on products that can be sold as a subscription. So we're going to go ahead and add the subscription widget to the Shopify theme. Uh, so this is bringing up the theme editor uh, for Shopify. So we do have the beanie page, which as you know, we already have added the subscription on the back end, but it's not going to show here on the product page until we actually go ahead uh, and add it here in the subscription widget. So as you can see, we have the subscription widget there. We're going to want to make sure uh, that it is available as you can see under the template we have the subscription widget we are going to drag that up a little further so it can be a little bit more visible um, on the page i would recommend probably putting it underneath the buy buttons um, so we don't have a description we're going to put it right under the buy buttons so the subscription widget is added there um, and now we're going to go ahead and click save. So the subscription widget, again, it will only show on products that have a subscription plan, uh, attached to them. Uh, so it will not show like on these pants, uh, the women's pink pants. Uh, obviously we do not have a subscription for the pink pants. Uh, so it should not show. Once we click save, we're going to go ahead and refresh the uh, product page here now for the beanie. Uh, and as you can see, we do have the purchase option. Uh, here so customers can you know again I would recommend putting it underneath the buy button as I showed you before all you have to do is come over here uh, and mouse over that and then click and drag it up underneath the buy button so that it is more visible uh, obviously you want to make sure uh, that it is high up on the page so customers do actually see that so you have your purchase options uh, you have the one-time purchase uh, you also have the subscribe and save. So delivery every month for 10% off or delivery every year for 20% off. Uh, and then as you can see, the pricing is then reflected uh, as a discount and it is labeled as a subscription discount 
on your product page, sorry. Uh, and so instead of $20, it's $16, or instead of you know delivery every month, 10% off, it will then show as $18. So pretty easy to calculate there. You can see the di discount differences um, that you have available. Now, again, this is a pretty flexible app in terms of how you wanna go about setting up your purchase options uh, and things in your business. Again, this is primarily for that subscribe and save you know, physical type products, as you could see, even on the Shopify subscriptions page, they, you know, they utilize drinks as a subscribe and save type option. Um, so, you know, if you are in the consumables industry, maybe that makes sense. You know, people aren't necessarily going to be running through beanies that fast, but who knows? You know, maybe they want a new beanie every year, the same exact one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just wear the same beanie. I don't know. Um, but that is what it looks like on the storefront and how to actually get it added on your store as well. Uh, within the again the Shopify subscriptions app so pretty simple you know it shows up as the discount and then when you do add it to a cart uh, we're gonna go ahead and view the cart uh, you know delivery every year 20% off and you know obviously we're not gonna go through the actual checkout process but that is um, what it looks like on your Shopify store once you've added the subscriptions um, so we've added the widget again this is sort of the setup guide uh, you know walking you through the processes on the uh, installation. Uh, once you've done the installation, you can turn on the subscription management. Um, so again, we've already displayed it on the store. We're going to go ahead and turn on subscription management. Uh, and this is under your customer accounts. So uh, you're going to want to make sure you enable the login links. Um, customers, you can either set this up as well as new customers. So which version? So if you want, you know, log in with a one-time code. Um, this is good. If you don't want people to necessarily need a password, that's probably going to be easier. Um, I'm not going to be enabling this on this test store for tutorials, but yeah, pretty easy to see that like you can have classic, uh, either classic with a login email and password, or if you want to do uh, the one-time code setup with no passwords, um, you can go with either option there. Uh, again, either are still accessible via URL, um, you know, showing the login links. So when we enabled that there uh, under the store, if we go out and exit the theme editor, which we've already saved the store, we're going to go ahead and view the store here. Um, the login link is essentially just this little icon here under the user icon so that when people click it, it will then show the login page so they can log in and manage their subscriptions. Uh, again, I would also, like I showed earlier in the tutorial, recommend maybe adding it to your navigation because not everyone necessarily is like, oh, what is that user? What does that mean? I would recommend adding an actual thing that says manage subscriptions or something like that in your actual uh, navigation bar here, you know, under you know, where you would add, you know, your catalog, about us page, blog, everything else you would normally have on your Shopify store. Um, as well. Uh, so when we go back to the subscription, so we have the subscription management enabled. You can also go in and customize notifications. Again, this is if you want to edit, you know, the certain notification emails that people get. So they can manage it as well just by clicking in the emails. Um, but I would recommend, you know, if you want to edit the notifications, you can go about doing that here. Uh, and this will bring up the Shopify notifications. Again, you don't necessarily need to edit most of this information here. It, the default is pretty good. Um, but, you know, that's how you go about doing that there if you do want to customize them specifically. Uh, so once you actually have subscriptions set up in your business, uh, you will then see that revenue reflected here as well as active subscriptions, new subscriptions and canceled subscriptions uh, there. So again, they do also have an additional blog post and information about like examples. Um, as well, but that's pretty much how you go about setting your store up with Shopify subscriptions. As you can see, you know, on the different on the different products, it's a pretty easy way to go if you do want to offer you know subscriptions and discounts on your Shopify store. Uh, again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial video helpful on how to add them uh, to your store. Again, this is a completely free app from Shopify themselves, so no need for any additional subscriptions. Uh, <laughs> within your Shopify subscriptions app. Uh, so it's pretty easy to get set up. It can be a little buggy at times, like as you saw, like if you click on certain things, uh, just I would recommend, you know, pinning this to your left-hand sidebar so you can go through and select the plans, contract settings, uh, and go through and make sure all of your notifications are set up. Make sure you add it to your theme. 
Uh, again, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful for, again, the Shopify subscriptions app. Uh, again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. Take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. And guys, if you enjoyed this video or, in, you know, found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that was all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.